That thing right there, people, gives us the right, and that spittoon, what central spittoon, by doing that, where do they get? <laughs> I won't say it. To do that. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Nobody spoke. Boom, slid right through that. Things were going good. I still couldn't figure out why all these gals were there. Like I say, you usually know the people that are there and what's going on. Something didn't feel right again. But after the last meeting, I figured something had to come out. Well, towards the end it came out. Audrey showed her colors again. And she just can't let this city administrator deal die. And then she throws in there the retreat. Well. In my eyes, the retreat died because Marv Calvin was on this guy's Facebook page and it was faith-based, which it doesn't need to be. Some of you people say, oh yeah, the council members need faith. I think there's more people in the private sector out here in the general public that need faith. Or they need to understand how faith is supposed to work and what it means to be a good Christian and not just say you're a Christian and you go to church. So Audrey got to the point of I'll call it Wilmergate, the missing emails that she so badly wants to get her hands on to point fingers at who was behind this Charlene separation agreement. What difference does it make? The council did their job. What's done is done. Let's get over this deal. But another thing that came out was she never mentioned that she had talked to Charlene, her and Dennis, according to Mr. Fagerly. Somebody must have told him about the phone records down at the at, uh, city offices. They found out there was a call from Dennis and Audrey, or together, to Charlene for over an hour. Oh, now, Audrey never said anything about that, but she said she didn't know anything about anything what happened. So you people that are... Um, chastising the five and martyr, <laughs> martyrizing the three, especially the two, we have a problem here. Somebody's lying, somebody's not telling us the whole truth. Let's go after these other two now, being some more information came out. Well, she didn't. Who told you that? How did you get a hold of that information? Again, it's always different on her side. Otherwise, she says, no big deal. Let's just move on. Now she's, hey, she got caught. Maybe what we need to do is ask for her text messages to Charlene and Dennis's for the last year. What do you think of that? Let's get some real information out here and see what's been getting passed back and forth. She's trying to drill these five. All they did was their job. The other problem was right there. And Dennis kind of changed his attitude, which I was very surprised. Audrey was the only one voting for getting those emails out. Well, too bad. Get over it anymore. I, I, I don't get it. I mean, uh, we should have a full council. My opinion is nothing should be voted on unless we have a full council. Just trying to sneak stuff through when the council's short doesn't work with me. Everybody, city officials, they make good money if they can't afford to <laughs> spend two hours or well, two times at what, maybe two to three hours. So six hours, four to six hours a month. Give me a break. Come on, what's going on here? Nothing said about that. 
Well, let's drop that and let's talk about some of the stuff I was talking about. Oh, Come sure. on, let's get over this. Let's move on. And like a councilman told me after the meeting, how are people that come here, business people, looking to venture into Wilmer, when this keeps brewing, how are they going to, in good faith, say, Wilmer's a place we want to be? They all know about it now, but let's not keep dwelling on it. Let's shut that door and let's keep moving forward. I don't like to say moving forward because I'm not a move forward group person. But if we're going to fix some of these issues we have, we've got to drop it and run and let's get going. Get in. I have two pages here of what Audrey was saying last night. That woman just smokes me, uncalled for, unprofessional. Let it lie. So, enough of Wilmer Gate. Why is this such an issue now? This has been going on for years. I just, I don't get it. Who isn't doing their job? I know people that go out and take pictures of things and they give it, well, it was brought to Charlene's attention. Nothing ever got done. There's a lot of money being, was being reappropriated with our city administrator when she was here. There's a lot of things that were going on, people. But these code violations, then they bother certain people and they don't bother the rest. What's going to do is going to bring an uprising in with the citizens in this town. Somebody will rat out one, then he gets mad and he rats out the other one, they rat out, rat out. Before you know, everybody's mad because of one person started the whole ball rolling and somebody thinks, Oh, I don't care because there's just a few out there that got to keep stirring things up and you know when we have 20,000 people and 300 show up for a meeting I don't think that's a very good show or 40 show up for a meeting I you know Tribune makes it sound like it's really big but hey it's nothing so they're the minority again try to find a reason to smile again God knows we need one but hey can somebody tell me what planet does this guy come from? This letter is unbelievable. I mean, it's just like da 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 blah blah blah. I mean, come on. 